this is me tag. Um, question one, and I will have the questions down below if you want to do this tag yourself. Um, question number one, what is your favorite food? <laughs> Actually, on that one, I have like food groups or types of food I like. Uh, I like Mexican food. I like Italian food. Um, and on desserts, I'd ha I have to be, um, there's like just like a couple of desserts I like. Um, I like to eat anything on cheesecake. Um, anything with chocolate. Uh, so that would be my foods. But on the Italian food would be pizza and spaghetti and lasagna the most. Um, and on the Mexican food it would be tamales, burritos, and nachos and tacos the most. Um, um, who is your favorite actor? Um, Peter Dink Dinklish. I think I'm I pronounced it right. Um, not just because he's on Game of Thrones. Um, but I've watched him since he was a very young actor and he just has a way of sucking you in to believing, making you believe that he is the person that he is playing. And he is just a very, very talented actor. Cause I've seen him play like, um, like a hobo, like one of his first movies, he was like a hobo, like kid. And, uh, it's probably so, I don't even forgot what the name of the movie is, but it's like when he first, like one of his first movies he ever acted in and he plays like this hobo kid and you believe that he's home, by the end of it, you really do believe that he's like this homeless kid. Um, and he all, really has all these problems this kid has. Um, I've never really seen him play anything that I didn't believe like he really was that, you know. Um, ah, one minute, please. Thank you. Um, actress. Um, actresses are a little bit more different. Um, because most of the actresses I really like are like character actors that um, they're not really in the mainstream that much. Um, and But they play like actual characters that I really like so I don't really know their names um, to answer that question but I like in acting or movies I like the people that can suck you in and make you believe they really are the person they're portraying uh, that really shows the talent in an actor um, what is your favorite song? Okay. This is kind of difficult. Um, I don't really listen to, uh, modern music. Um, I have a couple of favorite songs because they have, like, meanings or things that happen when that song was playing. Like, Head Games from Foreigner is, like, a favorite song of mine because the my first date ever with my late husband when he pulled into the driveway and opened that door that was what was playing and that scene of, of our first date when he first picked me up rose around in my head and I, I that that tune will always bring that that scene to my head um, and then there's uh, Stone Temple Pilots Art School Girlfriend. Uh, 
which uh, was because of my very first boyfriend I had in high school. Um, he used to say that was just like me, uh, which when you really listen to some of those lyrics, I kind of wondering what his thoughts of me really was, but he was going for the, I had this dream of going to New York and being an artist and um, going to like one in big city art school, like Juilliard like thing. And uh, he listened when I was telling him those dreams like that. And that's kind of where he's going with it. I don't think he's going with the whole weather and makeup and all that kind of stuff that's in that song. But anyway, um, and another song that um, I kind of like is Come To My Window by Melissa Etheridge uh, because my very best friend and me in high school, uh, we had like a connection and that song was playing when we decided uh, a big decision on that. Uh, and as far as I'm going with that story. Uh, but anyway. Uh, but I like a lot of mixed music. Um, right now I'm, pro I'm really listening to a lot of Christian rap and Christian rock. So, but I do have memories of other stuff, um, and that's just a few, like Reba McIntyre's Fancy, I've Got One Friend, he loved that song, and every time I hear that song, I rem it reminds me of him, um, so I will find myself singing along to Fancy because of that friend, so I've, I've just got to... There's not really much music I don't like. Um, I'm a, there's some country songs that get on my nerves. There's some rap songs that get on my nerves. But other than that, um, there's not really many songs I don't like. Okay, next one. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie all time, Princess Bride. Um, second is Willy Wonka, the old version with... Um, Gene Wilder in it. Um, then The Last Unicorn, which is an animated film. Um, the Dark Crystal. Then um, The Hobbit, which is another animated film that's before all the Lord of the Ring movies came out. It was the only version you could get of the Lord of the Rings. Um, and then, like all the old 80s movies, go in wherever you want to put them. Um, and the 90s movies. Uh, but those are my top ones. Um, I know they're all basically children's films. But I'm a big kid at heart. Uh, next, dogs or cats? I love both, but I kind of prefer cats. I just can't really have one right now. Dogs are really loyal, but cats have this kind of, I can do it myself if you want attitude, and then they also have this, um, this catitude or attitude to them that just I connect with because cats only deal with you when they want to deal with you. Dogs are like constantly wanting your attention. Um, what is your favorite season? Um, I would say fall and winter are my favorite seasons, but winter is kind of tainted now since my husband um, died in December. So now winter is kind of tainted. I used to like winter because Christmas and New Year's is my birthday and it was like a season that we like a lot of celebration going on because of my birthday and Christmas, but now it's kind of tainted because he died in December, and I can I just start remembering all about him 
um, even more than I do now because I, it doesn't he he doesn't really ever escape my mind for too long. So where were you? Where where would you most like to visit? Ireland is the number one place I want to visit um, because a lot of my ancestral things come from Ireland and um, my husband's ancestors came from Ireland and I just kind of want I just always had this yarning to go to Ireland and, and I've also always wanted to go to New York and just visit um, I used to want to go live in New York but I don't know if I could do that um, I think it would be just too stressful for me um, I've talked to a lot of people that live in New York and it's like way more expensive than down here and money is an issue with me I would worry myself to death um, but I would still like to go visit New York and like Chicago and a lot of other places up north and I've always wanted to go to Canada uh, and maybe someday go to England and like the major places in Europe that everybody talks about and I've also always wanted to go to Japan and um, just visit there because um, there's a lot of neat things in Japan uh, favorite colors um, anything neon black and purple the purple just got added in since my husband died and it was his favorite color so I took it on his mind kinda um, and black is always kind of I don't know I've just always kind of had this thing for black uh, and I like the neon because it's bright and colorful and you know who is your favorite author? Um, as a teenager I would have said Anne Rice and I don't really read these days other than the Bible so Anne Rice was my favorite author as a teen and I've never really been a bookworm um, but her books actually drawed me in so I would say my fa favorite author would be Anne Rice um, what is your favorite book? Well, my favorite book by Anne Rice was Interview with a Vampire. Um, I know it's the original in the series. And then the other one in that series would have been Witching Hour. Um, those two books I really liked. Um, the other ones were kind of confusing the plot lines to me. Um, but those were the two in that series that I liked. Um, and then today my favorite book, book would be the Bible. It's the only book I need. Um, what is your favorite TV show? I don't really have a favorite TV show at the moment. Um, used to. I love Big Brother in the summer. But I've not even watched Big Brother but twice this summer. And I've just not really got sucked into Big Brother in a while. Um, maybe I grew up <laughs> and I just not into all these um, young kids I mean they only put like one 40 year old on there this year and everybody else is like 20 something and I just don't have the patience or the time for the young kids I guess um, so it just doesn't sink, sink me in I would like to see them have the cast of Big Brother a little bit more age um, cause they used to put 30 year olds and 60 year olds and it was all different ages in there and now it's just a bunch of 20 year olds and 30 some almost 30s and they throw you like a bone with 140 year old that, that just doesn't interest me um, but in the fall it's all the superhero shows I am like the biggest superhero junkie and comic book junkie if it's a comic book and they make it into a movie or to a um, TV show I'm going to at least watch the first season of it um, what is your favorite drink alcoholic or other um, 
I've never really drunk alcohol knowingly. <laughs> But, uh, I was tricked into it, uh, <laughs> once, and I didn't know it was alcoholic, but I liked it, uh, and that was a New Island iced tea. Um, I just thought it was a tea with cranberry juice in it. I didn't know it had alcohol. Um, but my favorite, um, drink, drink is sweet tea or water with like some flavored package in it. Um, I've like really got into Kool-Aid again. I know, uh, but I've like really got into like Kool-Aid flavored flavor packets for some reason. Um, Rocker Country, um, and growing up when I was a kid I loved country. When I got to be a teenager I liked rock. When I got to be in my twenties it was it went into our turned of and heavy metal and now I've kind of went back to the rock expert but they're Chris is Christian rock. So who is your favorite superhero? Um that one's also kind of tricky. I love Batman but I love the whole Bat family. Um so Batman, Nightwing, Batgirl um, Red Robin, the Red Hood, and even Alfred Pennyworth is kind of a superhero so in the books. Um, Jim Gordon is not a superhero, but he does kind of fit in that genre in there. Um, on Marvel um, side of things, I like Spider-Man, I like the Hulk, um, I like the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy, um, and I can tolerate Deadpool a little bit. Uh, he just has some very racy jokes that kind of turn me off sometimes. Uh, vampires are werewolves. Um, this also is another one that I just uh, know. Um, if it's like a real vampire um, or more like a true blood kind of vampire. I could groove with the vampires. Um, but on the werewolves, if it was like a true blood werewolf, yes, that was like one of my favorite shows. Uh, if it was like a true blood werewolf where they're like human but they just turn into like a dog. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, I like the old um, horror film vamp of werewolves where they like actually turn into giant humanoid wolves. Um, but I would probably go with vampire if I had to. Um, where are you from? Um, I'm originally from Texas. I was born in Texas but then we moved to Alabama so I'm kind of a Texas girl at heart that was raised in Alabama. Um, where is your favorite place to shop? The Dollar Tree. If you watch this this channel at all, you know the Dollar Tree is my number one store. Uh, what is your favorite product? Makeup product. Um, probably anything doing with the lips. Uh, I like that's the, like the only makeup thing I really get into and um, if you count it anything doing with your nails nail products I've always kind of been my jam um, and then the last one who is your favorite youtuber um, this again is a really tricky one because um, there are a lot of small youtubers that I watch and just cannot miss their streams or their videos. Um, all of the ladies of the beauty and geek community are my favorites. Um, my friend that I help with her um, live streams by moderating Kit Kat Beauties and Games. Um, 
she is like one of my absolute favorites but now I've kind of have some new ones Gator the Legend um, Grana Banana Night Shame um, Fox uh, Willow Fox Fire um, that's just a few my best friend in your thread um, that's just a few of my new favorites uh, and on the big youtuber side um, Graveyard Girl's always been my girl. Always loved her. Um, Captain Sauce is like one of my favorite gamers. And Matt Shea is like another one of my favorite gamers. They, um, Night Wing, Night Wing, Night Wing 101 has always been one of my favorite gamers. Um, and they have like three channels. But the Night, 10, Night Wing 101 is like a mostly Batman teen orientated channel uh, Bobo talk a uh, Bo Boba talks is another one I watch for like comic book news um, Natty T I think that's how she should pronounce it I don't really pronounce names right she does reactions and I just love watching her videos. Um, she's another smaller YouTuber. Um, Coffee is a simmer I watch. Uh, but yeah, I've got a lot of YouTube um, people I watch. Um, Game Theory is another one I watch a lot. Um, but I have a lot of YouTubers I watch. And that's not even the whole list of ones I watch and I'm just assess with. Um, but anyway, if you like this tag, it's down below. If you do it, please let me know in the comments down below. And please give me a warm hug by giving me a like on this video. Um, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. There's always room for a new kitten here. And I will see you in the next video. Peace, be kind to one another. Enjoy your day, don't sit, endure your day. And I love you all very much. Bye-bye.